Welcome to this tutorial on designing validation procedures within Oracle Clinical. In a previous sessions, we discussed the process of creating a physical examination case report form uh, using the global library and the definition subsystem of Oracle Clinical. We designed all the CRF objects, including DVGs, questions, question groups, DCMs and DCIs, and we generated a layout of our data entry screen, which we then tested to make sure that it's throwing up discrepancies at the right places. Now that we've tested our DCMs uh, and the layout of our data entry screens, we have to identify a method to capture discrepancies that are related to more than one question. For example, when we were testing our data entry screens, we saw that when we entered the height of the subject as greater than five digits in length, or more than two decimal places, it triggered a discrepancy. Or if we entered unit of height, anything other than CM or IN, it triggered a discrepancy. The same was true for the scenario where response was provided, which is other than uh, normal, abnormal, or not examined. So these, these situations triggered discrepancies because the attributes that we defined for the questions were triggering the discrepancies for this, these situations. And what were those attributes? They were the length of the response, decimal granularity of the response, whether the DBG is associated with the response or not, whether a question is mandatory or not, and so on. Now we have to find a method to raise a discrepancy for those situations wherein the answers to two or more questions are conflicting each other. Let's take an example. Here, in the body system question group, we have three questions. P exam, which is body system. P rest, which is response to the body system. And PE desk, which is description of findings. So three questions, body system, response to the body system, and description of findings. These, the answers to the body system question group are pre-built pre into the data entry screen. So they are pre-printed on the form. So the data entry operator does not need to enter them but he needs to enter whether it's normal, abnormal, or not examined. Let's say he marks this value as normal, okay? And he does not, so he marks this value as abnormal, and here he does not provide a description of findings. So here the description of findings is required if the response is abnormal, but this was not marked as a mandatory field. So even if he does not answer the response to description of findings, it will still not trigger a discrepancy. And because of that, these kinds of issues cannot be captured by the attributes of the questions or by the attributes of the data entry screens that you have defined. So here it's a comparison of two questions, comparison of the response to two questions. The response to the body system is abnormal, and description of findings is not provided, it should trigger a discrepancy. Also, if a situation arises where the response to the body system is marked as normal and description of findings is still provided, some values provided for it, this should also trigger a discrepancy. So there might be multiple situations in the same case report form where you compare two questions to each other and the responses may be inconsistent. Here, for example, response is marked as abnormal and description of findings not provided. This is a inconsistency. Response to the body system is marked as normal and description of findings is still provided. It's a discrepancy. Similarly, if the response to the body system is marked as not examined and a description of findings is still provided for it, this is again a discrepancy. So, these kinds of discrepancies that are related to two or more questions responses when the responses to two or more questions are conflicting each other in that case the discrepancies that are raised are called multivariate discrepancies multivariate means related to more than one variable in this case it's related to two variables response and body system so these are the scenarios where we need to design programs in oracle clinical called validation procedures, which are used to identify these kind of discrepancies proactively. So validation procedures are not defined after you start collecting data. They're defined much before the data is even received by the data management team, so that you can proactively define these uh, types of discrepancies 
uh, you can proactively define these types of programs which will capture discrepancies once the data starts being entered for those case report forms. So let's take uh, an example. Let's just go through some of uh, the key points of what validation procedures are. And then we'll go ahead in the process of creating these validation procedures. So validation procedures in Oracle Clinical are programs that are created within Oracle Clinical which when executed create a discrepancy. These are programs that you define within Oracle Clinical and when these programs are executed a discrepancy is raised. So the discrepancy should raise the validation procedures that you create should not prevent a discrepancy. It should raise a discrepancy if the condition met by the validation procedure is true. In Oracle Clinical, there are two ways of creating validation procedures. You can use the Boolean expressions, which doesn't require any programming knowledge, or you can use the SQL custom code, which is a method used to write structured query language statements that can identify the discrepancies directly. So you can use the SQL custom code or you can use Boolean expressions, either one of those options. Most of the times you can create validation procedures in Oracle Clinical using Boolean expressions itself. So you do not require the knowledge of programming or the knowledge of structured query language to be able to create these, uh, these validation procedures. An example of a validation procedure would be an adverse event DCM. I have an adverse event DCM over here. Let's open that up. So this is an adverse event DCM, which is used to collect the header information. And in the body of the case report form, it's used to collect first whether the subject experienced any adverse events or not. So if the subject has experienced any adverse event is marked as yes, then the response to the other